this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a fell stitch. I've created a situation that's similar to that where you would need a fell stitch. The black fabric is wool fabric doubled over and ironed and pressed. The yellow fabric is simulating our lining fabric. You can imagine this as the bottom of the jacket or the inside of a sleeve, and this stitch is permanently holding these two pieces of fabric together. At the edge, you can see how this fabric is layered over each other. Two layers of lining and two layers of wool. The needle is placed at the point in which the stitch is being created. The tip of the needle is pointing out of the fabric in a diagonal direction. And as you pull the needle through, you'll notice that it creates a vertical stitch behind it. You repeat the process every eighth of an inch. If you'll notice, my needle is not coming through to the outside edge of the fabric. This is the portion of the jacket that we don't want to have any markings on. And this is the fell stitch. This is what we end up with here. This stitch is a more period stitch. You see it more often at the end of the 19th century and early 20th century.